Welcome, everyone, to our journey through the fascinating realm of gender psychology. Today, we're delving into the captivating world of gender differences and similarities. Buckle up as we uncover the mysteries that shape our understanding of men and women. Gender psychology is like a treasure trove of insights into how our identities, behaviors, and emotions are influenced by our gender. Hello everyone, my name is Elena. If today is your first time on this channel, consider subscribing and put on the notification bell to receive more knowledge on human insight and facts. But before we dive in, let's clear up a common misconception. Gender isn't just about being male or female. It's a spectrum, a rich tapestry of identities beyond the binary. From the moment we're born, society bombards us with messages about what it means to be a boy or a girl. These societal expectations shape our behaviors, preferences, and even our self-image. Remember those pink and blue aisles in toy stores? Well, they're not just random color choices. They represent the gender norms society imposes on us from an early age. Children are like sponges, absorbing everything around them. When they see certain behaviors being rewarded or punished based on their gender, they internalize those messages. But here's the kicker. Despite these societal pressures, research shows that men and women aren't as different as we might think. Sure, there are some variations, but the overlap is far greater than the differences. Take emotions, for example. While stereotypes suggest that women are more emotional, studies indicate that men and women experience and express emotions in similar ways. It's not about men being from Mars and women from Venus. We're all from Earth, and our emotional landscapes are more alike than we realize. But hey, that doesn't mean there aren't any differences. Men and women may have different communication styles, for instance. While women tend to be more empathetic and nurturing, men might lean towards problem-solving and competitiveness. Understanding these differences can help improve communication and foster healthier relationships. By recognizing and respecting each other's communication styles, couples can bridge the gap and create stronger connections. Let's take a moment to ponder what all this means for our everyday lives. Understanding gender psychology isn't just about academic curiosity, it has real-world implications. In the workplace, for instance, recognizing and addressing gender biases can lead to a more inclusive and equitable environment. By valuing diverse perspectives and talents, companies can unleash the full potential of their workforce. When employees feel respected and valued for who they are, they're more likely to be engaged and productive. It's a win-win for everyone. And let's not forget about the impact of gender psychology on mental health. For too long, traditional notions of masculinity have silenced men's emotions, leading to higher rates of depression and suicide. But times are changing. Men are beginning to break free from these stereotypes, seeking support and connection when they need it most. Opening up about our struggles isn't a sign of weakness, it's a sign of strength. By embracing vulnerability and reaching out for help, we can build healthier, more fulfilling lives. It's not just about understanding ourselves better, it's also about fostering empathy and respect for others. In education, for instance, Teachers can play a crucial role in challenging gender stereotypes and providing equal opportunities for all students. By encouraging girls to pursue STEM subjects and boys to explore their creative side, educators can empower... Creating an inclusive learning environment starts with acknowledging and celebrating the diverse talents and interests of every student. When we remove gender barriers, we create space for everyone to thrive. And let's not overlook the influence of media and pop culture on our perceptions of gender. From movies and TV shows to advertising and social media, the messages we consume shape our beliefs about what it means to be a man or a woman. But here's the thing. Media has the power to challenge stereotypes and redefine gender norms. When we see diverse and authentic representations of gender in the media, it opens our minds to new possibilities and perspectives. As consumers, we have the power to demand more inclusive and authentic portrayals of gender in the media. By supporting content that reflects the rich diversity of human experience, we can drive positive change in society. 
So, whether it's advocating for gender-neutral bathrooms, challenging sexist language, or simply being mindful of our own biases, each of us has a role to play in creating a more equitable and inclusive world. Let's take a moment to think about how we can apply what we've learned about gender psychology in our own lives. It's not enough to just understand the theory, we need to put it into practice. That means challenging our own assumptions, listening to diverse perspectives, and standing up against discrimination and inequality. Change happens when individuals come together to advocate for a more inclusive and just society. By speaking out against gender-based violence, supporting marginalized communities, and promoting gender equality in all aspects of life, we can create a brighter future for everyone. And let's remember that gender psychology is an ongoing conversation, one that evolves as our understanding deepens and our society changes. So, let's keep asking questions, seeking answers, and striving for progress. Whether it's through grassroots organizing, policy reform, or everyday acts of kindness and compassion, each of us has the power to make a difference. When we work together to dismantle systems of oppression and create a world where everyone can thrive regardless of gender identity, we create a more just and equitable society for future generations. I want to leave you with this thought. Gender psychology isn't just an academic subject, it's a deeply personal journey of self-discovery and understanding. Whether you identify as male, female, non-binary, or anywhere else on the gender spectrum, your experiences are valid and deserving of respect. Embrace who you are, and know that you are not alone. Finding acceptance and support for your gender identity is essential for your mental health and well-being. Surround yourself with people who uplift and affirm your identity, and don't be afraid to seek professional support if you need it. And to our allies and supporters, thank you for standing with us in the fight for gender equality. Your solidarity and advocacy make a difference, and together, we can create a more inclusive and compassionate world for all. So, as we bid farewell to this journey through gender psychology, let's carry the lessons we've learned with us and continue to strive for progress and equality. Together, we can build a future where every person, regardless of gender, can live authentic- Thank you for joining me on this enlightening exploration. I hope you've gained valuable insights and inspiration along the way. Until we meet again, take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye for now.